Hi, I'm Russ Schaefer here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the yachting capital of the world, and we're on board the good ship Ares. This is a 110 foot Choi Lee fiberglass yacht, and it is beautiful. If you're looking for a boat that can go 4,500 miles, have internet the entire way, four staterooms, walk around side decks, and a beautiful sky lounge, then you gotta check out Aries. What takes the cake is the sky bridge because you have a pilot house enclosed and also a sky lounge and a beautiful boat deck with dual davit cranes. So here is a real interesting fact about Aries. This yacht has got about 26 GT bigger than your average yacht of this size. This is 212 GT gross tonnage. How we get that is through our ceiling height. So this particular owner that built this yacht was a very tall gentleman, and he made sure that all three decks of this yacht had large ceilings and over seven feet of headroom. This yacht was designed by the legendary Jack Hargrave. We know how Hargrave builds Jack's design, but today I'm gonna show you how Choi Lee builds a Jack design. We're starting today's walkthrough on one of the best spots of this yacht, which is your boat deck. This is behind your sky bridge. Back here we find two huge davits, 1,500 pound capability. Most boats do not have one on both sides of the yacht, so it's a really special feature. And then as we walk aft, this is a great spot on this yacht where you can access docking, helm station, bow thruster, just a great feature that these guys thought of back then. Just forward of the boat deck is a al fresco dining area. It's got seating for six to eight people, an opposite bench over here for seating, and then in the corner here we do have a full-size grill, and then storage below. We have speakers on the outside and two spotlights, should you be out here at night, lights up the entire deck. Here we are on the outside deck of the sky bridge. This is just a great example of what this sky bridge that was put together in this yacht was built from. It's got big windows. You can also see that this owner has painted the outside of this boat. Just looks really clean for a 1990 yacht, just has done very well. Now we're in the sky bridge. If you wanted to watch TV, you've got a nice little bar to the uh, starboard side. So the forward half of the sky bridge is taken up by her beautiful wheelhouse. This is mission control for Aries. This is what a proper wheelhouse looks like. The owner has updated his transmission gear controls, access to your bow thruster, proper steering wheel, and just great visibility as you can see through these big windows, which is what a lot of boats of this time used to lack. This is your observation area. Right above we have one of these old school, beautiful ship panels. There are a few things that this panel here tells us. It gives you all your lights on the boat, any of your coolant temperature or bilge pumps. And the other thing this panel gives us is the actual yard number of this yacht. So this is a 4218 that tells you where it was built in the yard. There's another number that's important. It's 5103. That's the series that they made, which means they built five of the 103s. Of course, I got to show you the radar arch. This holds your satellite antenna, all your GPS antennas. If you're looking to go 4,500 miles, this is another reason why Arius is the yacht. Two years ago, this space up here was just something that needed to be revamped. He was torn between his personal use and whether it should be used for charter, so he decided to update it with both in mind. He's done two sunshades, one over the sunbed and one over the forward seating area with table. Other things I like about this space up here is he added railings, safety railings wherever necessary, and that's something well needed for charter. The last thing I wanna show you up, up here on the bow is the ground tackle. So we have an immense windlass here, Maxwell windlass. 
And if you just look at how all the cleats and all your bow tackle is done, you can see how overbuilt this yacht is. So if the boat deck didn't do it and the bow didn't do it, then this aft deck should do it. You can put tables, chairs, make it your own space. But there was one thing that Choi Lee made a mistake on. You couldn't access the water, and that's what was fixed on this yacht. So if you look on both port and starboard side, you have amazing stairwell walking from both sides down to the swim platform to access your tender, get in the water, enjoy the water. And when you get back to the dock, this is where your shore power is. This is also a dream for line handling. Directly below my feet is two access hatches that allow you to store any of the toys. Got a commercial dive compressor, six foot high, six foot across, and 23 feet of beam. You have a storage facility down here. So now we're in the aft deck which is an amazing space. We have seating for six to eight over here. We have teak underfoot. What guests love most about this space are the inviting large windows. The best windows in this yacht are the ones going into the salon. As you can see, they're big open windows and they're on either side of the sliding doors that allow light to come in. The byproduct of this is even while sitting inside, you have amazing views all the way through the yacht going to the outside. One thing Aries does not lack is charm. And when you walk on board this boat and then mainly in this salon is this is a true gentleman's yacht. So this owner has updated this yacht and gone through the wood joinery Revarnished and restained. This magnificent built in couch has been reupholstered and updated. And you have an updated AV system and stereo system throughout the entire yacht. A splash of modern has been updated here in the starboard aft with a stand up bar included with ice maker, refrigerator, and seating for four to five. So walking forward to the dinette. In the galley, you first come across your access to the master stateroom and the additional guest staterooms. So as we approach downstairs to your additional guest staterooms, this is your foyer. Here we have our full-size washer dryer, which was updated last year. And then we have two well-appointed staterooms. As you can notice, all the floors, bedding, TVs, wall joinery, everything in this boat has been updated. As you walk into this stateroom, you have a beautiful Island Queen, updated TV with sound bar. Like all the ensuite bathrooms, this one is finished with marble floors, Corian countertops, updated heads, and new showers. The third and most important stateroom on this lower deck is the master stateroom. This master stateroom has a huge footprint, plenty of space on either side of this king berth. Over here on the starboard side, we have a built-in couch, all reupholstered by her owner, and just below these two windows. Over here, we have a full walk-in closet. Moving inboard, we have a linen closet, entertainment system, and then over here, we have a vanity or desk. Beyond this is your entrance to the ensuite. Wrapping up from the guest staterooms, we now enter the formal dining. This is seating for eight, has storage surrounding the entire table, and these windows really help make the yacht, both inside and out. Forward on the starboard side, we have teak underfoot. This is your day head. We have your galley here to port. And then if you look up here, we have your access, which we've already been upstairs to the sky bridge and the pilot house. And then we have access to your VIP, but this is your galley. For one, we have a full size oven, convection oven with exhaust fan, two good size refrigerators and stainless dishwasher, good counter space. And this has just got a lot of storage in it for crew and for serving all their guests. 
Stepping out of the galley, I just now realized that I forgot to mention access on the starboard side. If you want to get to the bow and get to that beautiful spot where all the sunshades are, great accessibility. Also, you have access on the port side through the galley. And as a reminder, this is access to your crew quarters, but for now, I'd like to show you the VIP. One man's VIP is another man's master. And if you want to live on deck, this is great digs. One thing you notice in all these staterooms is all the ensuite heads have been updated, showers updated. The space in this yacht is just so comfortable. What makes this a perfect master number two is the amount of storage. So we have double door storage here and another storage here and two barrel chairs just below the window. At the foot of this king bed, we have a nice TV uh, entertainment system, access to your ensuite, and a quaint built-in vanity. And now that I've shown you all the guest and master staterooms, I want to show you where your crew is going to hang out. This is the common area. We have a nice galley over here, table, a built-in ice maker, and then we have three staterooms all with ensuite heads. Over here on the starboard side, we have the captain's quarters which is a double berth. This berth allows you to sleep two people if needed. There are two more additional crew quarters forward up here with over under bunks. Both have ensuite heads. Coming down from your crew quarters, there's two things that I want to point out. First is your laundry center. You have a melee updated laundry center, just like the one in the owner's quarters. And then we have a thruster room, which is pretty impressive. This has a commercial ice maker and two additional freezers. Now that we're done with the crew areas, we have one more spot that we need you to see. This is the engine room. Very spacious, full beam. This boat is powered with twin 12 V92s. You can see this is well equipped with everything one would need for a voyage. We have a built-in water maker, two 50 kW generators. One of them has been rebuilt. The owner has updated three chillers and both engines have been serviced with brand new exhaust. Today I brought in Cam, Mary Kate and Jerry to do a great job of just going through this yacht and making it the way it should look. Great team here and appreciate it very much. Once again, my name is Russ Schaefer and the motor yacht is Aries. And if you love this yacht as much as I do, just give me a call and we'll get you on board. Thank you so much for coming and we look forward to seeing you.